What's up everybody, it's that guy Skimpy and today we're going to be making something pretty awesome. Uh, I've got this mold about two, three weeks ago and I haven't made a video yet because I wanted to test it out. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a must have. Um, I brought it to uh, my last tournament and my tournament partner Ed loved it because he's been buying these and then once I showed him the ones I've been making, man, he fell in love and he's been fishing them ever since. It is the Wacky Head Jig Mold by Do It Molds. This thing is awesome. It comes in a couple different sizes, but this is what it looks like here. Has a little wire weed guard. Comes in, a, like I said, it comes in a bunch of different sizes. Uh, a 16th, a 332nd, an eighth, a 316th, and a quarter. So yeah, it's a five cavity mold here. So let's get to it, man. Let's make some of these. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just gonna go over a couple of the things that you're gonna need to make this uh, wacky head jig, okay? So obviously you're gonna need a hook. These are the hooks that I use here. This is a um, style 785, size number two. And this is a, a Dua Molds Wacky Jig Hook. Okay. Then you're gonna need the, uh, the wire weed guard. Okay, what I recommend, because once you open them, uh, there's not, not a Ziploc, so when you open them, it's like this. So, what I recommend is just getting a Ziploc, and pouring them in the Ziploc, so that way you don't Spill them. So, hint, hint, do it molds. Maybe you should uh, put Ziplocs on there. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so here's the mold. I can, you can probably already tell I've already smoked it, but yeah, so here's the mold. Five different sizes. So, the five different sizes are a quarter, three sixteenths, and eight. 332nd and uh, 16th so the sizes that I've mostly been using is probably the 332nd or the 8th um, I know all the other sizes have time and places for them but those are the two sizes that I've been using the most um, yeah so let's uh let's let's smoke the mold so what how you smoke the mold and I know it looks already, it's already smoked, but since I haven't poured, in a, poured it and uh, used it in a while, then I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it again. So you just have a candle and a lighter. And then what you do is you just go over the cavities here. And that black soot stuff helps not only fill the cavity with lead, but it also helps release the uh, the lead from the mold. And I know there's some pro other products that you can use, and uh, you know a lot of people recommend them. And uh, I've had just you know I've had the luck using this stuff. So so I just smoke the molds. All right, now it's time to pour. So that's what it looks like loaded, and as you can tell. If you look at the um, the weed guard, the wire weed guard, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but it wraps around the hook there. And that way it kind of stays in place. So now it's just time to pour it. Okay, so now it's time to pour it. And I usually use a ladle. I get the uh, best results when I use my ladle. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. So you just pour it right in, steady, steady drip, steady pour, I meant, and that's it. There it is. If you notice, there is a little bit of flashing on there. And uh, what I do is I just take some uh, cutters and I, uh, I cut it. So I just take it right out of the mold. Ooh, got some on the back here. Just take it right out. And then 
what I do is you just grab the lead and you just gently go back and forth and it takes off the head or it takes off the sprue excuse me and that's it and like I mentioned you're gonna get a little bit of oh sorry off the camera there and like I said you're gonna get a little bit of this um, uh, I think they call it flashing but I mean it's really easy to get off okay so like I said the, the little flashing is really easy to get off you just take some little snips try to get it on camera there and you just kind of easily clean it up easily clean it up and then what I do is then I take a file and I just make it smooth just kind of hit it a little bit make it smooth And that's it. Now it's time to paint. Okay, so now that we have everything poured and then we have it uh, filed so it's all smooth, it's time to paint it. What I use is Protec powder paint. This is the best there is. This is what I always use. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint this one uh, watermelon pepper. I like using watermelon pepper for this because watermelon pepper it goes with so many different kinds of color baits so I felt it uh, it's the best one so I have a heat gun here got it at Harbor Freight I don't know 30 40 bucks and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take hemostats hit it on the hook you're just gonna heat it up and then dip it in okay and then you always want to make sure that the eye does not get filled with paint. If it does, you have to take a little hook or a piece of wire or something and go through there. All right, let's do this. All we're gonna do is go over about 15, 20 seconds and then dip it right in. All right. You just dip it right in. Like I said, you gotta watch out for that eye hole. And then I take these this little wire or anything Kind of push it through clear out the eye make sure it's good and you want to do that before you bake because if you do this while you're baking or excuse me if you do it after it's baked then it's way harder to get that out all right let's just do this other one i'm going to put it in the oven for right now the oven's not turned on but it will be here We're just going to dip it right in. Perfect, like every time. Okay, so let's turn on this oven. Okay, I have them in the oven. It's baking at 350 degrees, and it's going to go for about 20 to 30 minutes. And what that does is it helps cure it, and it really hardens it up. So when it bounces off rocks and whatnot, it's not going to chip as easy as it would as if you didn't put it in the oven. So yeah, we really recommend that you uh, bake them and it, you know, like I said, it cures it. So this is basically all you need for the wacky, uh, wacky head jig, man. Obviously you need the mold, you need the wire weed guard, and you need the hooks. All right guys, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to make these things and they're very, very effective. For those who uh, never fished these, I'm just going to show you what you use them with. Uh, you just take a Cinco, uh, you know, a stick bait. And this is an actual Cinco from uh, the Do It Mold Cinco Mold, which is awesome. It's like the exact Cinco Mold, except it says uh, Do It Molds on the side instead of uh, the GY. So anyways, what you do is, just like a wacky rig, I just fold it in half like this. Some people put it right there in the, the egg sack, but what I do is I just fold it in half and then I take the hook and I go right through the middle and I make sure that the, uh, 
the wire weed guard so it just looks like that okay so it is super easy to fish this thing so all you do is you cast it out and then obviously since you have the little weight on there it's going to sink faster than a regular single but when you bring it up you're going to kind of jerk it up and then, and then you just see all that action so it's like fishing a wacky rig Cinco, but in my opinion you get a lot more action with this and uh what i do is i you know try to skip a dock or go outside of any kind of structure and i just kind of let it you know sink to the bottom and then once it's on the bottom i let it sit there for a few seconds and i just jerk up and it just kind of has all that action and it kind of goes down action but man i'm telling you man there's so much action on that thing another another way you can fish it and this is what my tournament partner ed does is uh you know he does use the sinkos and stuff but he uses a lot of trick worms and all different kind of worms so he does the same technique except on a worm so instead of you know texas rigging it so it goes down he's wacky rigging it and then so you know you do the exact same thing i fold it in half and then i go through the middle here and then it's the same thing you get the action and then you know i kind of fish it the same actually i didn't get it all the way in the middle there see i messed it up on my own video so yeah put it right through the middle and then it just kind of goes and then the little uh wire on there helps it to be weedless um it is a thin kind of wire um after catching a couple fish that wire does bend a little bit but it's not a big deal you can kind of bend it back into place and stuff but uh yeah i'm telling you man this right here is a must have in your arsenal man i'm so glad i had the, i got this mold and uh like i said I had the mold for a couple weeks and I wanted to test it out a little bit and and I did. And my tournament partner Ed, he did as well. And we both agree it's a must have in your arsenal. So yeah, hopefully you liked the video. Ho hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you uh, you like this. Man, like I said, you need to go out and get this mold. If you make your own baits, this is, this is a must have in your arsenal. All right guys, well, thank you for watching. You know, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Comment. I love when I see all the comments and stuff, man. It's awesome. Big shout out to Do It Molds. Big shout out to Living Rubber. Big shout out to Trigger Happy Comfort Grips. Man, big shout out to C2 Castware. I'm telling you, man, get this. All right, guys, that guy Scampy, please subscribe.